guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution and I'm here today to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Taurus for January 2021. My friends, I hope this year, this month has been treating you well. Things are going the way that you'd like, the way that you planned, and that you have a clear sense of your future is one of the things I want to say. I hope that this year is a turning point and a changing point in your life for the better. And I hope that you know how much power you have in your active free will, the choices you make, the changes you make, and the steps you take in your world to get whatever fulfillment it is that you want, right? So I think what's important to know about this reading is that it is general. Take what you feel applies for you. And again, it's going to take your active free will to put this into motion, my friends. So keep that um, know that you have this in your toolbox that you can set forward into motion the plans that you need to take to get what you'd like to see. But what I'm also hearing um, is, before we get into this, know that it's still, um, we need to really focus on not holding an attachment to outcome and what this needs to look like. So for example, um, not everything is going to be as we imagined it, but does it mean that it didn't come true? So not to be so rigid in those kinds of things on what we think things need to look like, because sometimes what we thought life was going to look like doesn't happen, and it happened way better, and we would never want it to go back, right? So um, let's see what we have in store here. I'm going to take a moment to call in Archangel Michael and Spirit, my team of light, to join us to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, as well as any spirit guides that are out there for our highest good. So we are going to ask that any messages coming through today are for the highest good of those of us watching, for the most far-reaching of messages, um, as well as Archangel Metatron. I'm going to start off today first with a message from Life Oracle. First off, though, for my subscribers, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you feel like this is for you and you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe, join the journey with me, and let me encounter your energy more often. It'd be awesome to have you along this ride. So, we're going to get some spiritual advice here. Please, spirit for the sign of Taurus. Whole bunch. This might be your year, right? This may be your learning year. I'm sorry, guys, if I play with my hair. I play with it anyway a lot. But I cut it today on my own, and it's a little shorter in one spot than I'm used to, so it may drive me bonkers, and I apologize if I play with it too much. So, time at Taurus, please, Spirit. One message that you feel will be the most beneficial, please, for the month of January. Know as well this message may hit from a mess, something that's happened in the past, something that's happening now, recently, or it could be energy trickling into your energy field. So what they're telling me is just to pick up the top. So three shuffles. One, two, three, top. Oh, I love this. Step by step. So um, it says, I have the wisdom to allow time to achieve my goals without judgment and impatience. Absolutely. Give yourself... Give yourself a little bit of leeway. Give yourself grace, right? Know that if we speed the process up, it still may not be any faster, right? It's step by step and perfecting each step on the way, sort of leveling up before we move on, not biting off more than we can chew at one time. So I live each step of my life filled with love. I let go and stop trying to control everything. The richness of each event or circumstance lies in its creation rather than its result. I therefore live in my present moment, this step in my life, to the fullest, knowing that my soul is forever rising higher and higher to embrace the light. And if you can see this, the beautiful stairway going up to the sun, going up to the sun. And I feel like this is what the top of, I'm not going to look at the cracks, I'll show you guys, just the king of wands, the top of the crystal, um, oh my gosh, chakra wisdom tarot. But... This sun, or this portal, it's like we're going into this on our way to enlightenment. So I feel like this is also important to remember that each step of the way you're going to bring the light. You're going to come from light. You're going to bring the love as well. And this is really important because we're going to love each step up that ladder. We are not going to love ourselves any less down here than we are once we hit up here. This is what's important. Or we may, but unconsciously. And we're going to learn a whole lot more self-love on the way up to that big bright star. So 
being present in each moment of your life, understanding it's not a race, it's a process. And I think that's why my intro, I I'm usually don't go right into that the same way. And it was, I think Spirit already stepped in, going, you know what, step by step. And this idea of judgment and impatience, that's our ego self talking. You know, we may want something to happen a lot faster, but when Spirit... Um, I think spirits here going, you know what, when the time is right, the time will be right, but you have to put the steps in. You have to be the person that's able to achieve these goals. So for a lot of you, um, this month may be, I heard, like a time of reevaluation as well. But I feel like you really don't limit or hinder yourself in terms of what you can do, what you can accomplish, the things that you can see in this world. And it's, again, here, I being guided to the richness of each event or circumstance lies in its creation rather than its result and this um, letting go of the need or trying to stop controlling everything that's also letting go of this hold to attachment right so I'm gonna give myself I'll throw myself under the bus I like to do this I'll use my example okay if I were to be in a hurry to try and um, build my channel up to some massive amount, right? I could put it out, but I could, you know, there's a point where balance within everyone's life has to happen, right? And it wouldn't be meant to be. And the focus there, I would be probably very, what's the word? I'll say upset, but that's not a disappointed, right? Because I set up this giant, unattainable goal for myself right when I'm rushing myself and then as I'm doing this I'm feeling bad about myself because I don't have that goal no we can't do this everything builds in the right time in the right process you need to practice you need to perfect your skill you need to perfect your craft right so I think there comes a point where this is knowing that what's meant for you was meant to come and like my example my attachment here is not to an outcome it just has to be what messages come for you each time and building this each step as we go and each of you would like to join my team as we go and here we got blue calcite being like that's the truth reach it because i think that everything in our life we are always rising right we're forever rising higher and higher so if we give ourselves a huge unattainable goal at the beginning of a journey rather than seeing how do I break this into smaller pieces and be able to actually accomplish this I lost my train of thought see you're not going to have the energy and the stay power to make it through to the end this is even what I'm hearing is like write it down step by step things that you can do especially if you're overcoming hurdles or if life seems daunting could be you know what we need to overhaul clean this house guys and what do we do because it seems too much make a list that you know day after day week after week task after task check it off write the list of things that needs to be done daily weekly and then what we're working on right now because it needs to happen all right so living in the present moment step by step in your life not holding on to some outside influence or judgment of others as well and as well as without judgment so understanding patience everything happens in a reason and judgment if um if I listened to everyone who judged me and said not to do this. We wouldn't be having this conversation right now, right? And I really like talking to you guys. So if there's something you'd like to do, don't allow the judgment of other people to stop you. If it's something you want to go back to school for, you know, if this is within relationships, if this is within your own healing journey, my friends, don't allow the judgments of others and the fears and insecurities and their projections to stop you from going after what you want by putting the work into you. And you know what? Maybe it's just about being creative and creating something that just comes from you that you can be proud of. And stop second-guessing yourself. My friends, don't judge or doubt yourself as well. Under here is hope. 
So this is really important as we move through each step, each journey, regardless of if we're experiencing a really awesome time in this particular rung of that ladder, or if we're experiencing a challenging one, what we get through on is faith and hope, right? Faith that things will get better, faith that we are capable of climbing this ladder all the way, and hope that, you know, one day this will happen, right? This living for love, that's all they're showing me. So living each moment of our life and put love in everything. And this one, I cease to doubt my true nature. I no longer turn my thoughts towards the dark and negative parts inside me, the world of fear. I welcome life and hold on to my faith in God and God's love. I enter into the great school of life, steady in the face of all situations, because regardless of the darkness and fear, I know the light will return. There will always be infinite possibilities ahead of me, and sometimes it's just getting to how you can go about that in a less daunting way. But it says, I love all beings and I love myself. Henceforth, I live to manifest love and light to each soul in each situation. So here's also where we're not going to impose our thoughts, projections, or judgments on someone else for their choices. And we would hope that, you know, someone in our world that means something important to us wouldn't do the same. So I have the zombie tarot here, and we're going to bring a message as guys. If that resonated, great. If it didn't, don't. it may not be for you. If you feel comfortable and you'd like to share, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If not, there's absolutely no... You don't have to, okay? So you have here the Two of Swords, and this is a blindfolded decision with the Page of Cups. And I love this card. It's absolutely adorable. It's innocent. It's beautiful. You may have um, a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your life. It could be a younger child, but it could also be somebody who makes you feel playful again. You see these were building castles, we're building structures and foundation. Yes, out of sand and also knowing that these could change at any point. We're not totally committed at this point. When we get here, we're still allowing the ebb and the flow to see where this relationship, this partnership may go. And I feel like this is where not to make any hasty, quick decisions. Um, this guy swinging the swinging the chainsaw cuts the head off the oh I think he's still a zombie they're both zombies but I heard like it's like either win-win or lose-lose like not we're going to clarify this but we don't want to make decisions where we don't feel like we're seeing straight right tell me about this the eight of cups in the reverse maybe holding on to something that is a little past gone as well as what I heard, let's see, temperance. And temperance here is in the reverse, but there's also this, what is the reverse? Because everything is in perfect divine order, in balance within the universe. But whatever you are holding on to or having trouble turning your back on, I want, I'll show you this card, but this is the message that's coming through first. It's meant to teach you a lesson. Eventually this blindfold that's on the two of swords eventually it has to come off because we can't swing blindly and shoot blindly off into the world you know there's a few things one I'm hearing it's like good luck hitting something or you may be getting things you're not wanting to hit we're not going to also I heard offer our heart blindly and there may be um, I'm hearing like trust issues with that two of swords as well could be that we've blindly trusted people in our past and that now um, if this is within relationship I feel like this is really challenging ourselves to let go of the things that have hurt us and we may be holding on to them a little too tightly which may create a little bit of imbalance and why I say this is this eight of cups came out in reverse and if you look at this card I like it because it's totally post-apocalyptic and like it's pretty cool Okay, and I want to show you the box. Bear's like, hey, show them the box. But it comes in like this cute little box that if you open it up, it's like ammunition, right? So this tarot is ammunition to help you. It's a cool little first deck, too, if anybody's interested. I like to plug this thing. 
But if you look, okay, this lady's walking away from the mall. There's lots of zombies, lightning changes happening, and everything else is in black and white except for this car, this girl, and, and this woman. And she's on her way, but there's still some attachment to her. So there could have been a knowledge, or it could be her daughter, like I'm thinking The Walking Dead, when, you know, the one woman meets they all see their little girls turn into a zombie and you still can't like the mother can't can't kill her even though the daughter's going to try to come eat her because it's her kid right and i think like there may be some attachment to like we're we're holding on to life where it no longer exists so if it's when within a relationship there could be times where we know that either the person's not right for us, that the situation's not right for us, or we're holding on, sometimes it's hope, um, to a dying situation, and it's keeping us out of balance because we're not feeling loved in this situation. And we're not, like, if we're offering love, we're doing it, I feel like, blindly, and definitely out of balance. But if we see this card, this temperance card, what is out of balance? right because if you look here temperance out of balance this way and they want me to read to you the definition out of temperance oh my gosh all right so balance alchemy cooperation mixing human blood with zombie blood is typically a recipe for disaster but in certain controlled circumstances, the results could yield a miracle vaccine. The temperance card calls for balance and compromise. You need to get closer to your enemy if you're going to understand what makes him tick. And you may need to join together to resolve your differences. For some of you, um, something that maybe we're not able to let go of could be be because of something that's happened within a current relationship and I feel like if we're trying to heal um, when we're trying to heal we definitely need to focus on that step-by-step -step ladder right because we didn't create the problems in a day we can't change them in a day we need to go issue by issue address them when they come up and to come to each situation with love be this a romantic relationship a friendship with your children right with the co-workers however this is we need to approach our life with love and our relationships with love we're not trying to cut someone's head off right we're not trying to be mean or spiteful we're not trying to be out of balance and there could be something like if something's hurt us we're holding on to right which could be blinding our situation a little bit as well so I'm going to bring a message from that Chakra Wisdom Tarot to clarify, please, Spirit, what needs to be released here because it's causing an imbalance. You have the Six of Swords. So two ideas with swords. This could be um, an air sign and Temperance could be Sagittarius. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy around you. It could be a relationship with them. We feel like what's really important is that the decision here, okay, is that we are going to approach each situation with love. Because you have here the Six of Swords moving on. How do we move on? We have to move past. I heard like emotional turmoil, but it's in our heads so here's where the thing is when things scar us when they hurt us deep we may keep replaying them we may keep seeing them they're things that when our hearts hurt our minds hurt too so we need to find a way to move past this and in this particular one as well I feel like it's important because it is changing the course for future generations. So it's not only are we moving past this now, but we're moving past this for good. And we're going to make sure that going forward from here, we're able to create new situations and new circumstances. So I'm going to ask going forward, Spirit, what advice would you have for um, how to offer love? Just a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. The Ten of Coins flew to the bottom, my friends. This is a wonderful, stable foundation. This is wealth within ourselves. This is seeing, I heard, the free world, right? An enterprise as well. This is also about many things, family. 
if you can see it. You have all the riches in the world available to you. But this is also about mindset. When we get our head out of lack, we can see all the wealth and abundance that we have in this world and who we have in this world. I think it's really important too to note the treasure. The gold here is also screaming to me of the sun in this card and this sun as well, like these portals, as well as our um, ascended master Jesus, the importance of forgiveness. Because if we're going to move on truthfully to whatever it is we're having trouble releasing and holding within our heart, whatever this hurt or this pain is, whatever this attachment is to something that's no longer here, whatever's fog in our head and making it hard for us to... Um, I heard feel love for some of us, okay? Because it really could be what it is that this kid, if you look at it, this kid's holding his a brain and a heart, and he's like, choose, right? I offer them to you. Here you go, because this is also kind of this blind and innocent love. So while we're going to be offering our heart to someone, I I ask you guys to keep a little bit of your head for yourself though, right? And keep some love for yourself. This is not about blindly offering everything we have and becoming codependent with someone and allowing them to rule our thoughts and rule our heart and really rule our sense of wealth and stability and sense of self, okay? And, I mean, Sometimes this kind of stuff happens before we even know it and we don't know that it's happening. So I just, what I'm hearing is I implore you. I'm not sure what that means. I think it means, like, I'm asking you, okay? I'm asking you guys just to be wary of your thoughts as well. If you're feeling self-defeatist thoughts or whatever, let them go. And if there is stuff around you about, like, a business or something you want to accomplish, this grandiose plan that you're working on step by step, I feel like some of the stuff that you may be holding on to is all those things, right? That that self-sabotage that's told us, well, we're not going to achieve it. So, you know, we'll talk down about ourselves a little bit or we'll, we'll hold on to the failures that we've had instead of looking towards success. So the last message I want to bring to you guys today is a message from the Keeper of the Light Oracle. And going forward... Um, I'm going to be asking for, let's see here, what would be some helpful energy to move towards the goals who are for Taurus? Did it go? This one, I don't know what it is, but this, that's one of them. Um, this month in January 2021. Thank you. So the one that flew out was Rada and Soul Flame. I love this card. And it says, Rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. And I absolutely think that that will happen, and it's a step-by-step -step process, my friends. And the one that came out is St. Germain and Releasing Karma. And if you can see the amethyst he is wearing, this could be definitely um, tapping into your crown chakra, tapping into, I heard, like, higher wisdom as well as you could ask Saint Germain at this time to help you release the karma, to help you release the attachments. Because that's what this is, this Eight of Cups. It's an attachment. So sometimes, you know, when we have a lot of hurt or towards another person or actions, something that I find helps is to go into your mind space, like into meditation or quiet time, and to quietly imagine yourself and that person back in the situation that hurt you. And, you know, just either give yourself a hug and say, hey, stop. You know, this this doesn't need to affect your self-worth or, hey, you know what, going forward, um, if you follow this path, this is what's going to happen and you're going to regret it. How about we stop it now? Give yourself a big hug for not knowing better at the time. Say, this is a lesson that we learned and let's try it this way instead. Or, you know, just make peace with it at that point is what I'm feeling and as well as cutting cords. So we can also imagine these the people in the situation or the hurt, like the attachment to the feeling, and imagine snipping cords with that. You may want to have a bath afterwards, a nice salt water bath or a shower. Just even, I've got a selenite wand here. I heard like a cleansing prayer, some Reiki for letting go as well. And also, I'm being guided to show you. I've shown like every sign as well. I love this thing. It's my hubbies, but it is um, obsidian, which is volcanic glass, and really good for helping to keep you grounded, release negativity, and help kind of absorb it as well. So I think it's important, though, to know that there's really... Um, beautiful stuff that happens from destruction because once everything's cooled down you get this beautiful 
glass, so to speak, I guess. So, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. If there's been drama in your world, allow it to go. It taught you something. It's not you anymore. You don't have to hold on to it. And discover the parts of yourself that you may not have allowed yourself to see. Discover all that wealth, the freedom, and the joy that you have in this world, the possibilities that could come, and the happiness, the family, and the love you have in your life. Lead each step in your world with love, my friends. Put your heart forward and have hope that things will always get better in the end. I love you all. I hope you had um, again, I hope you have a great month. I hope this resonated and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.